Hello everyone and welcome to week one of At Home Sunday School. This year we're going to start Sunday School a little differently than normal and we are going to do online videos once a week that will be posted after service on Sunday. Some of you may have received an email with an attendance chart and if you have one of those you can take your attendance right now like we would at the beginning of class normally. I'd like to start today off with an opening prayer. So if everyone could fold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your head, I'm going to start us off with the opening prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us the fruit of the Spirit. We ask you to help us live each quality of the fruit of the Spirit. Help us to show love and joy. Help us to have peace and show patience and goodness. Help us demonstrate faithfulness and gentleness, and finally have us help with self-control. Please help us show others your love by teaching us your ways and growing us as your children. Please help us, Lord, to show love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control in the various situations you put us in. Help us to use the fruit of the Spirit to show others what your love looks like. In Jesus' name, amen. The prayer is over. So today's Bible verse uh, from Galatians, and it is in chapter 5, verse 22 to 23a. And I'm going to read that from our Deep Blue Bible. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against things like this. Those who belong to Jesus Christ have crucified the self with its passions and its desires. If we live by the Spirit, let's follow the Spirit. Let's not become arrogant make each other angry, or be jealous of one another. Fruit is also a word we use to talk about proof that we follow Jesus. When we choose to follow Jesus, study the Bible, and join a community of believers, beautiful things start to grow in us. Things like love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The Bible calls these things the fruit of the Spirit. Think about your journey with Jesus. Are you like the apple tree that never grows an apple? Or are you bursting with fruit? Can others look at you and see love and joy, peace and patience? Do people know you as kind and good, faithful, gentle, and in control? As you grow in faith, Pray for more and more fruit. So today I am going to tell you a little bit more of the story of the fruit of the Spirit. Each of our 13 lessons uh, will have 12 individual fruits of the Spirit, and then this is the introductory or the intro one. So God gives us fruit of the Spirit to help us show others what His love looks like. God's love is Jesus, His one and only Son, who He gave to each of us on the cross. Jesus paid the price for our sins so that we could be with God in heaven forever. When we accept God's gift of Jesus, that love is inside us. It's there in the form of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We can't ever pay God back for his love for us, but we can obey his commands to love him and to love our neighbors. God wants us to show everyone we meet what his love looks like. But how will they know what God's love looks like if we don't show them? What if we just keep it all inside? 
Is it going to do any good for God or for anyone else? No way. If you could wear God's love on the outside, what would it look like? And that leads us to today's worksheet. Today's worksheet was emailed to you. And um, if you didn't get one, just take a piece of paper. And it is the fruit suit. So if you want to get fun, you could get the glue out and you could glue shapes of fruit on or fruit type candy or if you're like me and don't have that or have fruit snacks to glue on there I just have a colorful assortment of markers see so we're just gonna take some markers right now and do some fruit suit make it a colorful fruit like when you see a fruit salad you see lots of colors you see red you see green you see yellow purple with grapes. I'm just going to make it really quick. So you can take time to make your fruit suit into just a big assortment of colors. And I'm working hard here. Okay, here's how my fruit suit ended up. Not too bad, huh? I think I got all the colors on that I picked out. So you made your own fruit suit. So that's how you can let people know that you have the fruit of the Spirit, as you can show them. So a lot of you are wondering, okay, Heidi, this lesson is for the little kids. What do, am I going to get out of it if you're older? Um, I'm going to give you older students a verse challenge. I want you to look up John 15 and that is verses four through five. And that talks a little bit more about our story. I'd like to conclude today with our closing prayer. So bow your heads one more time. Heavenly Father, we love you and thank you for the gifts of the fruit of the Spirit. Thank you for giving us what we need to show others your love. We know that Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. And that without Jesus, we can't show anyone your love. We thank you for Jesus. And as we eat this fruit, or learn about this fruit of the Spirit, may your fruit grow within us so that it shines to all of those around us. Please help us show every day your love. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to wish everyone well this week, and I'm going to hold up a sheet if anyone would like to email. I have this email set up, so you can email any questions, or if you would like to receive copies of the weekly worksheets or any other information, um, just email School at gmail.com, and I'm going to be monitoring that email uh, during the week. So we can get everyone signed up for email worksheets while we do this at-home version um, as we go through the coronavirus pandemic. So, all right. Think about the fruit of the Spirit this week. Bye-bye.